I'm talking with Bernadette Williams here down at Port St Mary Town Hall. It's always a delight coming down here because you never know what you're going to see next, but you've done a fantastic exhibition here for, well, I call it exhibition, but it's, it's Remembrance, of course. Absolutely. And, and stunning, all these poppies and, and the displays you've got up here. Never done it quite on this scale before, I hear. No. This came from the germ of an idea four years ago. Four years? Four years ago, um, in that period that we were going to commemorate this date mm -hmm. um, and we are on Sunday we have two new sentinels at the Garden of Remembrance that will be dedicated by the Lord Bishop um, and it is a Garden of Remembrance as opposed to a war memorial so when the commissioners took over the garden from the Royal British Legion which sadly no longer exists in Port St Mary oh. um, we decided to open it out and one of the sentinels dedicates uh, is dedicated to um, the emergency services, those who have, uh, are no longer with us, but sure. were in the emergency services. So those will, will be dedicated on Sunday. And the, um, as I say, this exhibition is open to the public today through until and including Saturday, 10 until 4. Um, and on Sunday, there will be the invited guests from that service who will come back here. Tell us what the, what's on offer here to look at because you've got exhibitions oh and you've got goodness. lots of information We boards. have, well I have to pay special, special tribute to Nell Convig, mm -hmm. the lady we were talking to earlier. She had this, I knew that I wanted to do something special for the end of the, the World War One, and Nell said well what about we look at the, the you know the history of, of, of the men who left the village, some not to return. And she has worked tirelessly, tirelessly, finding all the information, getting these photographs. She has, honestly, it's great tribute to her. The, the whole community, I mean, this section here is the school, mm -hmm. School Potlamara. We had the WI. We've had, um, we've actually had four workshops run by um, Caroline Helps, who did the wicker poppies um, and everyone was invited to join in yeah. um, we had um, Lottie Ray who did the clay we had Mary Gulland who did the acrylic painting and there's one actually uh, raffled and that'll go for the poppy appeal and the fourth one was the wonderful um, display there mm. and that was by um, Karen Callister at the sewing studio Beautiful, a whole lot. Yeah. Now, how many men did Port St Mary lose? I mean, just this roughly. This is where just you roughly. need no, Nell. No, just roughly. This, this is all on the, off the top of my head. I, I can't. No, but there's a board for each one is almost. Um, ones that we could identify and find history on. That there is yeah. that some is just little bits. Some there's there's a great deal more. Um, surprising, and and the maps there show where they fell. There are maps there that show where they came from a lot of them were from the four roads a lot from the how um, I mean we have the wonderful anchor memorial at uh, Callow Point mm -hmm. from the Second World War uh, and that's that's means it means so much to Port St Mary but this um, as I say it's it's been a community event so just reminds us opening times here 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. there are Tea and coffee, juice. Yeah, tea and coffee. Bickies. Bickies, yeah. Bickies, like Bickies. So, and uh, there's people here to, to, to talk you through everything. Um, it's lovely. You just come and have a chin wag, and, and it's, it's, we're delighted to see you.